Cock Lin is a chief investment officer at Singular Asset Management and joins us from Kuala Lumpur. Long time no see, Cock Lin. Thank you so much for joining us today. So uh, you're joining these sentiments and you are still bullish on China. And in fact, uh, you think the government's going to engineer a uh, soft landing. But what do you hear when you hear talk of uh, overheating in certain industries, bubbles forming <coughs> possibly in the property sector? <clears throat> well, I think I think it's uh, you know generally you have to look at China. Uh, the growth momentum overall is still quite strong, uh, even though there are certain area of bubble forming in main city like Shanghai, Beijing, and properties. Uh, but really, if you look at you speak to the developer there, I don't think you're going to see a crash there because a lot of purchases of this property are using hard cash. You know, we're not really using bank lending. Uh, beside the fact that uh, there's still a lot of Pent out demand. Uh, if you look at the whole China, uh, the basic demand, especially in the rural areas, uh, there's still basic demand for elect, you know, the refrigerator, TV. So the, the 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 growth story of China is still very much at the beginning stage. Yeah, well, you know, where else are you going to look for growth these days? Because a lot of people, including yourself, say forget about that recovery in uh, developed markets like the U.S., uh, Europe, and Japan. In fact, recovery might not be there, and I might be strong enough for another two to three years. I think certainly if you look at what's happening in the West, Europe, U.S. as well, uh, the growth is going to be quite uh, slow and anemic. What it means also is that interest rate there is going to be, remain quite low. Uh, it's going to encourage a lot of fund flow, uh, growth momentum in, in the area like China, India, Indonesia. I think that's where uh, you continue. And, and if you just go and visit uh, a lot of factories in China today, uh, many of them are running at full capacity. Uh, they are short of workers. No, it's quite a big difference from, say, a year ago. Yeah, and uh, Coughlin, why don't you talk to me about allocation at this point? How much are you putting into Chinese stocks? How much are you putting into Indonesia? Or how much are you holding in cash at this point? Uh, uh, we're holding probably about 10% 10, 10 cash, but with about 30% in China, mainly through the eight shares in uh, Hong Kong and se selective stock in Singapore, uh, 20 plus percent in Indonesia. Uh, again, we still have about 20 percent in Malaysia, where we know the market quite well. Uh, then the balance of 20 percent are roughly largely in Singapore.